Hello everyone, I'm back with another Fear Street review. I know it's been a minute, but here we are. <laughs> Today, I'm so happy that I got to catch this hilarious, dark, horror, comedy, campy wonderfulness that is. I, I am talking about Death Drop Gorgeous. Knowing me, there's probably going to be some spoilers, so if you would like to hit pause, go watch the movie, and then come back, I totally understand. The movie is available on video on demand right now. Please do so. I'll be just as fierce when you get back. Anyway, uh, in Death Drop Gorgeous, a dejected bartender and an aging drag queen fight to survive the eccentric and hostile nightlife of a corrupt city as a masked maniac slaughters young gay men and drains them of blood. Now, I will be the first to tell you, I love a movie that doesn't take itself too seriously. This movie was a whole lot of fun the whole way through. And, Number one, the two characters that I loved the most were the two best friends in the center of the story. Dwayne, played by Wayne Gonzalez, and Brian, played by, played by Christopher Dalpy. hope I pronounced those correctly. If not, let me know in the comments and I will fix that for the future. Um, they were so easily relatable. The chemistry between the actors and the great uh, dialogue written by Michael J. Ahem, Christopher Dalpy, and um, Brandon Paris. Uh, they're totally responsible. I, I love those two characters. I'm not going to tell you the fate of those two characters, but I did. I, I really latched onto them, and I was really happy to have those them involved in this film. Uh, I will say I do feel the movie was a bit long. It could have been served better with trimming with some scenes down and finding a happy 90 minutes-ish movie. I know, like, Sheree and myself and our friend Jamie, we've always said that 90 minutes is, like, the hot spot, the great time for a movie. Um, if it's going to be longer than that, I really need to see why. And I don't think this has that in it. I think it could have been served better as a 90-minute film. I, I was a little, and then at one point and towards the end, I was a little bit worried that we were getting too into like an art house vibe, but in the filmmaking. But I, I was glad to see that the camp came back in the end, and I, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I love when queer, campy, dark horror comedy can be done well, and this one totally deserves your attention. I thought that adding horror with drag is so fun and I and I can't believe that more people aren't doing that um I wish that there were more because this movie was really really fun I highly recommend it as for yay or nay it's definitely a yay for me there's a there's a lot of promise in these filmmakers and I cannot wait to see what they do next I will say I would suggest this film for anyone who's a fan, especially of like John Waters and that kind of vibe, or anyone who loves dark comedy and who doesn't mind a little bit of blood guts mixed in. It's it's just it's a fun wild ride. I, there's some really fun deaths, some really creative ways to <laughs> to kill people. You know <laughs> how else do you put it? But it was I I, I recommend it. Uh, yeah. A uh, huge thank you to our friends at Dark Star Pictures for making this review possible. Death Drop Gorgeous is currently available on video on demand. On video on demand. So check it out. As always, hit us up in the comments and let us know if you agree or disagree. If you have other thoughts, other things that you want to bring up, let us know. I love to hear from you all, as does Sheree. So as always, make sure you stay fierce out there. Bye.